Hello, 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 Jesse again. Now we are doing a CMS slider, a dynamic CMS slider. Okay, so using attributes, we are using the spin suite, yeah, spin suite slider, CMS slider. So what we have here is we have the testimonial slider here and we have all the same as here so we want the same as to be here on the slider okay so first we need to copy this put it on the uh, head tags of that page so go to home page and put it to the head tag and paste it and save it okay now what we need to do is get this instruction from collection list from collection list okay collection list this one so a lot of people may be confused about this one okay this collection list and collection list wrapper okay so just check the icon yes collection list the icon like that and this the lock the, uh, the collection list okay so go to settings and add attributes and paste it uh-huh Let's double check. Collection list, copy that. Then paste and list. Okay. Then done. How about this slider? Go to testimonials. And let's go back. Then below slider see that icon again with slider icon so copy that uh, that one then go to attributes settings attributes then add attributes then this is will be your slider okay that's it mm, yeah there's an optional here so our goal only here is to make it working okay all right so let's publish then test okay now it's working so the collection is no more here and it's working the slider is working okay why there's a gap here let's go back because our collection list the layout is two so we go to the collection list wrapper and make it uh, one one only then let's save again then refresh boom see okay let's explain this where do you style this here or here so if we style this one let's say we want this bigger font sizes No. Uh, it affects here because it's the same. We are using the same uh, for uh, purpose of no uh, purpose of test style. Yeah, for the purpose of explaining this. So let's try this uh, to rim. So it's different, right? It's different. So 
So let's say this. This is the st style. Uh, st style. Let's <laughs> not see. Okay. Now let's see. Okay. Now let's reload that. Okay, it's nothing happened. That's expected. That's expected. So it doesn't matter now what is the inside of this slider. So actually we can delete this another slider and this another slider. Yeah, it's totally fine. This is still working, I guess. <laughs> Let's see. I think it's not. Reload. Yeah, it's working. It's working. <laughs> it's working. So and we can delete this just make it the testimony slide is there you can delete that so let's save it again okay now it's saved then let's that's it so it means that we need only to style this let's say we want this 1.2 rim well, let's make it more bigger so that we can see that if that's change let's say the boom and boom tara then it's working okay let's explain all the styling inside of this class testimonial content of course you can rename it whatever you want so inside all of that you can style it that affects the slides but in terms of layout you need to define the layout here so if you want this slide it will be 100% uh, from the whole so you can define it like that and maybe you want it three columns yes columns or rows yeah columns three columns so it depends to you so layout will be here on the slider but the styling inside of the slides is here okay so perfectly working I go over here okay that CMS slider dynamic CMS slider thank you bye bye